I'm Georgia, and welcome to the Georgia Show Me Show. Here we are, just after Fox's amazing performance, and we're here with Fox, and I have a whole list of lots and lots of questions that I have to ask him. And um, I'm going to try to do it kind of quickly, but kind of not quickly, because the way I'm sitting is really squishing on my bladder, and I have to use the louvre. But I'm going to wait until after I'm done. That's what she said. That's right. Okay, so, in no particular, well, I guess it's in a somewhat particular order, but not really the right particular order. But anyways, we're just going to start. So, which place has been the best hunter of people that you've gone to so far? There's a few that have been incredibly good. Anytime I get more than a hundred people, that's insane, because you know I play fairly small places. So, I would say Hamilton, Ontario, Montgomery, Alabama, Boise, Idaho. These places have had like 150 people showed up. And when that happens in a little cafe or a bookstore, it's crazy. Generally speaking, I get around 50. Tonight was maybe a little short of average, but it was about average. But when I get over 100, that's uh, it's insane. And then everyone complains and they're like, why don't you book a bigger venue? And I'm like, I didn't know 150 people were coming. <laughs> I have no idea. So people should start RSVPing, maybe. <laughs> yeah, well, then it always says there's going to be 100 people, but sometimes that's actually 50, and sometimes they all come and bring two friends, and it's like 200, so you just, you just never know. So you hear that? People, check out the tour dates, because, you know, we're challenging you. Let's get past that number. Let's make all of his shows amazing shows. Seriously, we need to. You will not, like, be sorry that you went to this show. You're going to be sorry you miss out on his shows. I promise you that. It's fun last, good music, and a good time. Now, on with the next questions. Which place has had the best financial turnout? The most CD sales I've ever had, the record is currently held by Boise, Idaho. Second is Indianapolis, and third is Montgomery, Alabama. But again, anytime I get more than 30, that's a really good night for me. And sometimes, you know, the CD sales aren't great, but some little old lady will come over and stick a hundred dollars in my back pocket and you know, you so sometimes crazy stuff like that happens. Or like last night in Monroe, some girl came into the show and hands me a piece of paper and walks out. And I was like, okay. So after the show I look at the piece of paper and it's a booking for a motel room at La Quinta, which is kind of expensive and it's not some I mean I sleep in my car, so any motel room is better than the car, but this was a pretty fancy one and I was like, well, that's pretty cool. So you just never know what's going to happen. But um, generally speaking, I get by off of the shows. It's not bad. So last night you stayed at the La Quinta, which is the reasoning for you getting 11 hours of sleep. It's the only time I've actually slept in a bed in the last nine days. So I slept for 11 hours to make up for all the nights of two hours in the car. See, now it all makes sense. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, in your travels, where was the best food out of all the places you've been to? Ooh, now you're speaking my language. Yes, I've seen the pictures, so let's oh, talk. Oh man, um, I love food, so when I'm promoting my shows, I ask two things. I say, can you come to my show, and what should I eat when I'm in your town? And it actually is a good marketing method, because then everyone is like, uh, we're not going to go to the show. Then they're like, but we know some good food. And then they respond about the food, and next thing you know, we're like chatting back and forth, and they're like, we guess we should check out the music. And they click on it, and they're like, ah, well, it's not that bad. Maybe I'll come check it out. So it actually helps me in two ways, because it gets people interested, but it also gets me really good food tips. So I've had some of the best food you can imagine. And then I have some people who actually, they help me promote, but they also help me find good food. They'll like go online and look for reviews and see what. And I only eat at family businesses. I never eat at chains. It has to be like locally owned and you know and cheap. Obviously, it has to be like under ten dollars, or I can't really afford it. So I would say my favorite food is Chicago. In terms of big cities, Chicago beats all the other big cities out. And then in terms of small cities, all places like Jackson, Mississippi, and. Uh, Buffalo, New York, where I record best pizza ever, and they have some other great food like Polish stuff, and, and Wisconsin in general has amazing food, but you would never want to live in Wisconsin because you would end up being like 600 pounds because it's all like <laughs> dripping with butter. Everything they make, they put gobs and gobs of butter on it, but it makes it taste very good. And then um, the best Mexican food I've ever had is in San Diego because it's right by the border, so all the Mexicans like come across the border and open little taco trucks just like they do in Mexico so it's like you're actually eating what the Mexicans eat like more than anywhere else and it's phenomenal so I would say yeah San Diego, Chicago, Buffalo and there's good, good stuff everywhere 
but um, I love the food in England too, and I miss it. But everyone else hates English food, but I love it. But just so you know, an excellent place around here, family owned, is Little Greek, and I tell you, their food is fabulous. I Thank you for letting me know. Love it. So yeah. next time you come through here, during normal hours, of course, because obviously they're closed. Georgia likes a little Greek, she says. Georgia does like a little Greek. Georgia likes a little of every variety. I'm very out there in my food choices. Fantastic. Okay, so... so lucky. <laughs> Attention, Books a Million shoppers. The time is now 11 p.m. and your Alexandria Books a Million is now closed. Please bring all of your final purchases to the cafe to check out. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so let's just get through this. So, out of all the places That's what she said. you've been through, right, um... What place would you like to like really settle down in? If you could choose any of the places at all, if you had that opportunity. I like traveling. I never get old. I can't imagine ever wanting to stay in one place for too long. But I guess if I had to live somewhere, it would probably be the Mediterranean. I love it down there. It's beautiful and the food is fantastic. Mm. If I had to live somewhere in the US, oh, it's hard. San Francisco is the most physically beautiful, or Seattle, but then I like the people in the South and the Midwest the best, they're the friendliest. And then, you know, so everywhere has its merits, but definitely I like that whole Italy and Spain and Greece. That part of the world is amazing. Excellent. And I miss England. Now, I was flipping through your CD, the one that I purchased. It's the newest one you've done. And um, I noticed all the pictures and it really, it, it really made me feel good because I felt like I went along on that journey with you. Do your other CDs also have all those little pictures in there? My CDs have tons of pictures and they have all the lyrics for the songs. But I really try to go all out on the booklets. But the new one, because of the theme, is The Road. So it has a lot of pictures from The Road. Whereas the second one has more kind of studio pictures. And the first one has just a bunch of different stuff. Because it was like my whole life up to that point, 26 years. So it has all kinds of different stuff I've done in places I've been. Whereas the new CD, the pictures are all like kind of stories from the last tour, like all the highlights and bits and pieces and stuff. So I uh, put a lot of like animals from people I stayed with, like little pets. I like taking pictures of pets because they're so cute and little things I ate along the way or sunsets or, you know, I'm driving and I hold up the camera while I'm driving. Don't tell the cops I said this, but I hold up the camera while I'm driving take a picture. You know. There's no cops. What I, okay, if you're a cop and you're watching, I was kidding. Like I don't, re I've never even touched a cell phone while driving. Who would do that? Who would do such a terrible thing? Onward. <laughs> I did notice the lyrics inside the CD cover, and I love that because I'm a big person who goes to the lyrics.com things. You're not things. that big. You're fairly slender, actually. I know, but you didn't see me like years ago. No, I'm just joking. I've always been slender. <laughs> but anyway. Um, I enjoyed that because I do look at the lyrics on, on the computer and if they're not available I sit and listen to the songs like a million times to write the lyrics down myself. So that was one thing. Thank you for doing because I really enjoy that and my favorite song, the lyrics are there and I was reading it while you're singing and I, I, I like that. So thank you again. I wrote that when you dumped me I know. for him. I know. I did. I dumped him. I'm sorry. You know. I would have dumped you for him too if he if he liked me. But My husband, he was, he, he was pretty fabulous. He you was get more into you than me, so what could I do? I don't know. Maybe it was the hair. He liked the red hair, not the darker hair. <laughs> okay, so your music videos. I've noticed that they're all like clips of, of movies. Do you plan on doing one your own or do you just prefer having it done that way? I couldn't afford to make music videos, so some girl in Texas who was a big fan and a good friend was like, hey, I made these videos using movies, you would check them out. And I was like, wow, that's really cool. So she started doing them for my songs, and um, people loved them, so that's how it started. They're not really official music videos, it's just like the fan-made videos using movies. And then I'm hoping that at some point I'll be able to afford to make actual music videos that look good, but I don't want to do any like using a handheld video camera, because that would be like, eh. Maybe tacky. Right. Right. Because handheld video cameras are just horrible. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, watching your performance, you did mention your father, so I know your thoughts on him, but does anybody else in your family support your dream? Um, to be completely honest with yes, you, please. Um, since I became a musician, I haven't really heard from them very much. 
But it might just be because they're all busy. 